modes we've already used and the two we'll cover next, landscape and child modes, you'll have a remarkable level of creative and technical capabilities available to you at the twist of this dial. The children can go from 0 to 60 in no time. By utilizing your camera's AFA or autofocus A feature, the D40 and the D40X can sense a subject that is standing still or moving. So, if your child is standing in one spot and decides to take off on you, your camera will automatically switch from the single autofocus mode to continuous autofocus to be sure your subject remains in sharp focus. The child mode will also let you set the camera to give you soft natural skin tones. Clothing and background details are vividly rendered. It will also favor faster shutter speeds to stop the action and freeze that perfect moment. Now here are a few tips for photographing children. First, try to shoot them at their eye level. You know, too many of us want to look down on our kids, and those don't make the greatest angles for kid pictures. So if you get a little lower and shoot from their eye level, they're going to take on much more importance in the frame. Second, to do that, it's always easier to use a long lens. A long lens will help you fill the frame with your children and, and their actions. And finally, you know, take advantage of your environment. Let the kids run free. See what they're going to do. Believe me, you don't have to direct them. They're going to come up with some more spontaneous and fun things than you could ever dream of. All you have to do is be ready to capture them. And that's where the Nikon D40 and D40X come in. See how in this mode, the camera automatically selects the focus area containing the closest subject. A longer zoom can be very handy for helping you fill the frame without intruding on the fun. All right, all right. All right, let's get right off. I think you guys need to get uh, warmed up a little. <laughs> and if the right. camera reads that a little extra light is needed, the flash automatically provides it. Look at that shot. Just beautiful. And how hard was it? Mere child's play. I like hey. to look for local characters to hey. be part of my pictures. Hey. How about a picture? Yeah, yeah, you, come on. Come on. Great. I'd like to get a shot of you right here, okay? Yeah, were you juggling in the, in the natural history? Okay, let me see here. All right, looking good. Looking good. Okay, hold on. Hey, can I get in the shot with you? Oh, watch, watch, I'll show you. Hold on. All right, we are gonna be looking good. Here Sometimes go. I like to be a part of the scene up. myself. So I set the self timer, and that means I have 10 seconds to join the picture. All right, let's check that out. Beautiful, beautiful, that's the two of us. Not bad for a couple old guys. <laughs> You know, as long as I've been taking pictures, there's still something so satisfying about a beautiful landscape or cityscape shot. In the landscape mode, the flash and AF illuminator are turned off. The camera is set to give you vivid colors with an emphasis on greens and blues. It helps you capture those rich sky tones. You know, one of the things I like about this scene is the beautiful light that we have here of Southern California blue sky. And we've got a great reflecting pond and the botanical building way in the background. Now, I'm going to use landscape for this mode so I get everything in focus. I like the pond, the reflection, and the building all to be crystal clear and very sharp. So landscape mode is perfect for this. Now, I might try even turning the camera vertically. Now, you can do this with landscape. You don't have to shoot every landscape in horizontal. You can go vertically, and that will really emphasize the reflection in the water. We've also got some little goldfish in there, and that'll give it a nice sense of moment. So it's a great picture opportunity, and landscape mode is the way to shoot it.
You know, the Nikon D40 and D40X offer us photographers an astonishing array of features, like the digital battery program and all kinds of shooting modes. Now, sometimes there's so many of these that even I, a professional photographer with a lot of experience, gets a little confused. But not to worry, because we've got onboard help here. All I have to do is go to the third button down where the question mark is, and that's my help menu. Whenever you have a question about what a mode does or what a menu feature does, simply press and hold that, and boom, up comes an explanation of what exactly is going on in that mode. It's like having your instruction book right here on your LCD screen. And it's a great feature. You'll love it once you get to know it. The D40 cameras are equipped with a great new tool called the Retouch Menu. So let's do a little in-camera retouching right now. Press the Menu button and scroll down to the Retouch Menu. We'll work with a red eye shot first. We'll select a portrait. And see how the camera automatically finds and corrects the red eye. Now that's amazing. With trim, you can crop out the distracting details that sometimes have a way of creeping in around the edge of pictures. Let's try de-lighting now. This brightens dark pictures, or scenes where the light is coming from behind the subject. It's almost as if you're going back and using a flash. This is really amazing technology. With other commands, you can create black and white prints, instantly make small copies of your pictures for emails, and a number of other options. Check out the retouch menu. It's a great way to finish up a day of shooting pictures. These days, pictures can be shared and enjoyed so many ways. From the traditional uses like being printed and framed, or put in photo albums and scrapbooks, to sharing images quickly with friends and family using email. With the Nikon D40 series cameras, you can take advantage of the latest opportunities. Or you can keep your picture processing as simple and convenient as it was in the days of film. I'm going to give you some quick tips on everything from printing to saving your pictures for years to come. Now the good news is that you've got a lot of options in having your pictures printed. If you're interested, you can get quite involved yourself in the editing and printing of pictures. But if you're not, don't worry the process is remarkably similar to getting film from a camera. Just like when you may have taken your film to be processed and printed, now you take your SD memory card to have prints made. While the camera is off, remove the SD card by opening the card chamber, pushing against the card just like this. Now, take the card to an image processing outlet that you trust. Often it'll be the same place that once processed your film into prints. Depending on how they're equipped, they can either help you make prints at a self-service kiosk or hold on to your card and return it with your completed prints, including enlargements if you choose. Now that's simple, right? Now, if you own or plan to buy a good inkjet printer that is designed for printing high-quality pictures, an easy option is to simply remove the memory card from the camera and insert it into the SD slot on the printer. Many inkjet printers these days allow you to make prints directly from the card. If not, you can connect your USB cable directly from the D40 or D40X to your printer. Follow the printer instructions to pick the image you want, and you may even be able to edit the images as you go. You'll find more instructions in the owner's manuals. And with digital photography, once